All right. Hi, teacher. Hello, hello. Sorry, I was just changing my background because it was a little bit too bright. Uh, but yeah, so hi. Uh, welcome, welcome. This is our last night together, apparently. Um, we're going to see how it goes. But yeah, this is supposed to be the last night, the last class. I'm all, I'm talking about supposed because, well, I see that there is a big storm coming my way, but I totally hope that that's not going to be a problem because we're basically only going to be wrapping up everything today. So let's expect no rain is going to affect our class development. But okay, guys, so here we are. It has been a fun ride. It has been great getting to know some of you people and, uh, you know, also catching up with the the ones that I met before. I thoroughly enjoyed my time here. And uh, for tonight, I will be sharing some information with you. Of course, there is something um, that I kind of wanted to change, but still, it will be your decision. Because I was thinking that maybe, just maybe, if you guys want it, um, we could do some reading instead of doing the the idioms thing. Of course, if you're willing to, I will be here, you know, ready to talk to you guys about the idioms. But um, it will be great if we have like a little chance at the beginning just to have some reading done to get to to practice some more reading. But of course, that's up to you. That will be your decision. It will be your choice. It will depend on what you guys expect. Uh, if we go, if we want, sorry, to go ahead and work only on the idioms, I am ready to do that. I will do whichever option you guys pick. But um, before anything else happens, I hope you all have also fulfilled the re-inscription, you know, finished and sending or at least getting all your documents ready because that is due in a couple of days. Um, so yeah, it will be expected that by this point, we have already sent most of the documents and we'll be, we will be ready to get started on the, on the new program or the new, um, module in a couple of days. I am not sure when, uh, I think last time I told you that it was supposed to be like, uh, it was, it was like, uh, like, a predetermined date probably for, um, October the 10th, I think it was, but we'll see, we'll see how that goes. We'll see how, what happens and yeah, but before any of that, I also wanted to go ahead and ask, well, the last question, the question that I have got used to asking at the, at the end, at the very end of the classes, and it is about performance and more specifically about my performance. You know, I am a still, I consider myself a still a young teacher. I am I'm not pretty experienced. Um, also, <laughs> well, if you guys didn't know, teaching wasn't my best, my first option. I didn't want to be a teacher. Some of you guys already know, like Patricia, she already knew that. But yeah, I, it was never my dream to be a teacher. Now, of course, I do it because I like it a lot. Honestly, I enjoy it. Um, but because that was not my dream, I consider that there might be some aspects, there might be some things that can be uh, changed or, or edited just so they work better in me for future students. Um, so I would like to hear some feedback from you people because, well, you have been working with me for the last month. So you may have some uh, idea, you know, of, of things that maybe could work better for my classes going into the future. Um, uh, and that is also a favor that I normally ask. It, it is very important for me to get to know your perspective, your ideas. So that is the question for tonight. Do you guys have any suggestions, any, um, recommendations or any comments, you know, regarding my development during these classes? I will give the chance for you guys to do it openly. Like either, either of you can, I mean, any of you guys can do it. I'm not going to be pointing at um, whoever, however, if you don't want to, well, then I will start asking, you know, randomly to all of you, but yeah, uh, any ideas, any recommendations, any, any suggestions for me, people? Good evening, teacher. I believe that you are a very excellent teacher. Yeah. You know, yeah, um, yeah. I have, I have learned so many things from you uh, because, you know, uh, 
uh, extensive and extensively uh, all the all the the terms you know uh, for example the the word the word hike uh, climb or just walk uh, I I didn't know when we have to use those words for example well okay it's just an example and right. yeah I know uh, I have learned so much from you Thank you very much. Thank you. I appreciate it. I appreciate it. All okay. right. Uh, yes, tell me, Patricia. I think that uh, uh, you are very um, a good teacher and you uh, make us to speak every day. Uh, we have to, to talk about uh, something everything uh, we never never know what uh, is or what will the the question today and uh, uh, that is a, a moment when we uh, express our, our words to explain or to answer the question and th that is very important to us because um, uh, speaking is is important. Yeah, uh, the main reason why we want to learn. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and we probably we don't um, we don't uh, have the opportunity to speak every day and only maybe sing or or, or listen, but speaking is important. Uh, so thank you because you you make make us to to speak. Okay. <laughs> thank you. You're very welcome. Yeah, I appreciate the comments. Um, Janet. Yeah, teacher. Um, I'm so grateful with you because you have um. Uh, um and different way to to do the the classes uh to match um um actives and no worries i uh, feel some modules uh that were too much worried mm -hmm. and i i feel it longer that's why uh, because i felt we only we only come to to listen the teacher we only come to to know too much grammar and we don't we don't speak anything so um uh, i i am so much grateful and thanks for all you you uh, teach us all right. Yeah, it's a pleasure. It's a it's a great pleasure for me. Great. Okay. Anyone else? Any bad comments? Quiero escuchar los comentarios malos. No se no no se solo tirando flores. Que no no le voy a poner recargas por eso. No se crean. Ya se me acabó el dinero. No me han pagado todavía. Okay. In my case, I think there is no a uh, uh, a complaint. I don't know. I feel so. I feel so comfortable when you try to teach us because you let me to express my feelings when I speak and I feel receive very good your feedback. This is good for me. I feel comfortable. All right. But there is no bad point for you. I okay. think it's the I think it's the, the the first teacher I feel so comfortable. I like so much when you compare the the reality of the English versus versus your the book? experience <laughs> yeah, oh. the okay. book and your experience you're living in in the United States. This is a good yeah. Okay. I appreciate that. Thank you so much. Yes, you're very welcome. And thank you because you helped me very much with a lot of words. I mean you know in my case like when I'm speaking when I'm just just going at yeah. it I don't seem to miss any words, but when people ask me, like, how do you say this? Sometimes I'm like, ah, how did you say that? Yeah. And you help me a lot, you know, because you're a, a dictionary. Yeah. You're basically a vocabulary machine. So, yeah. Yeah, very good. You have a lot of patience. 
a lot of passion. Yeah, well, I have two sisters. <laughs> yeah, that <laughs> yeah, gets you to a point. You he know. have to. He have to. Yeah, I have two sisters, so yeah. <laughs> you know it is. <laughs> okay, um, Javier, thank you very much, Walter. Javier, let me hear it. Hey, hello. Hello there. <laughs> I'm gonna start cry start crying. <laughs> oh come on! Oh no! Don't sweat it, sis. <laughs> no, let me share. Um, I come. I I shared uh, the feelings about Walter. You really make me feel so comfortable. Comfortable. Uh, the way that you teach is very special. Let me know. Uh, have have take many many coaches many teachers and and you know in all my life just four or three years that i'm i'm studying english uh i just had two coaches that really make me feel comfortable uh, it's not in the case in this case but do you know the news about uh the united american coach uh, that killed her her girlfriend and found it in some sonate. I heard some. English. I heard you some. You heard something about? Yeah, I heard some, but I'm not sure he, who he was. But yeah, I'm not sure. Okay, he he was my coach. Uh huh. So oh he God. really he <laughs> okay. he was really good to teach, but I don't feel comfortable with him. It was <laughs> something that I I don't don't like it. Uh -huh. So it's it not in this case because you really make me feel comfortable. I'm sure you're gonna be better than you are now. Well, now we are making correr. <laughs> no, I'm just I don't think so. I'm just no, de hecho, a mí me da risa cada rato este los, los estudiantes, verdad, los que van llegando a cuarto año porque yo casi solo trabajo con cuarto año. Trabajo con primero y con cuarto. En primero me ponen a trabajar porque dicen que para motivarlos a que se queden en la carrera. Y en cuarto porque son como mi, mis, mis clases de especialidad. Entonces, eh, a cada rato andan ya preguntando, ¿y qué materia va después? Ya van las de Segovia. O sea, ya las mías ya son las de Segovia. Si sí, ya tienen el título, las de Segovia, porque siempre me las dan a mí. Entonces... Eh, Hace como tres días estaba hablando con una, con una ex estudiante, o sea, que fue mi estudiante en primer año, ¿verdad?, durante la pandemia, y que me estaba diciendo que justo de eso, o sea, yo les digo, yo agradezco bastante, ah, oh, déme, yo sabía que iba a pasar. Qué puta que esta mierda. Oh, there we go. See you next level. Ah. See you tomorrow. Les, les, les dije o no les okay. dije. Ah. Back. Les dije. Ah. Les dije o no les dije. Ah. Que era muy posible que se fuese a cortar. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Sí, es que viene la tormenta y pues a los de a los de, de la electricidad les gusta probar. ¿Será que va a funcionar? ¿Será que no se nos va a ir? No, pero bueno, les estaba diciendo que ajá, o sea, los chicos casi siempre ya están pendientes de cuando va a llegar el momento de las clases y yo tipo, les dije, miren, no, yo ya me quiero ir, les dije, o sea, no es por nada malo, no necesariamente, sino que hubo un momento antes, durante el tiempo de la pandemia, justo cuando salimos de eso, que, o sea, regresé a mi tiempo de antes, como les estaba diciendo los primeros que se conectaron, ¿verdad? Que yo no, nunca soñé con ser maestro, o sea, nunca fue mi deseo, nunca fue como un anhelo mío. Cuando yo estaba estudiando, simplemente pensaba en trabajar en cualquier cosa que se relacionara con la aviación. O sea, era mi, 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 mi punto de vista. Pero cuando llegué a cuarto año, nice. o sea, yo siempre lo digo así. La universidad, la, la, la universidad me, me, me obligó. Sí. O sea. Ay, no. A ver. El este... techo que no se cae. El techo es crazy. <risa> Esperen, este que... No, aquí sigo, pero ya viene la luz. A ver. Uh... <coughs> ok. ¿Sí me escuchan o no? 
Yes. Ah, okay, okay. Yes, yo creí que no me yes, escuchaba. Ah, pues, que estaban diciendo cosas no? ahí. Ah, bueno, espérense. Ahorita me voy a conectar algo. A ver. <ríe> Let me see if it's going to work. Esperemos que sí. Bueno, ahora creo que ya va a ser más estable. Ya estamos con la red de la casa de nuevo. Ok, entonces, ah, les decía, en mi caso, yo, eh, cuando llegué a ese tiempo de cuarto año, el tiempo de la, de la pasantía que siempre se hace en la universidad, yo no quería ir, porque pues a mí me dijeron, ¿verdad? Eso es solo de enseñanza, así que, pero sos uno de los elegidos, Segovia. Y yo como, este, enseñanza, para mí, de veras. Así que igual, me mandaron. Y pues allá en Estados Unidos, eh, yo trabajé con niños de kinder. Again. Y, o sea, eh, no, no me fui. Ah. No me fui, no, no se quejen. <risa> bicho chiste le hacen, ve. Sí, así se va a ir ya a la clase, no, hombre, ya. ¿Saben qué? Así, respeto, teacher. Así déjenlo. Así que se quede. Teacher. Hola. See you next level. Sí, cabal. Ahí nos vemos en, en ¿cómo se llama? Preavanzado 3 sería, ¿va? Sí. Ay, no. Y, uh, ¿Usted va a dar el siguiente? ¿Quién que va a this model? No, we, don't, we never model? know. We never know. Nunca se sabe. Una semana oh. o tres días antes de, de que inicien me avisan. So, yeah, mm -hmm. I, I never oh. know. Y casi nunca sucede. Bueno, si por ejemplo aquí el caso con, con Patricia y con Jacqueline y Rosa María. Creo que son las únicas, son las únicas que, o sea, que me he encontrado, ¿verdad? Eh, segunda vez, sí, pero casi siempre son, son grupos nuevos, grupos distintos. Ajá. Hace tiempo, de hecho, tuve un grupo que, ahí, que era solo de gente de la constancia, o sea, solo trabajadores de la constancia, y ese grupo nunca he vuelto a ver ninguno de ellos. O sea, digo porque eran un montón, ¿verdad? Solo bolos. No, quizás, yo no sé Miren, varios de ellos me preguntaban Que si dónde, que si dónde vivía para, Tengo abierto, pero no sé Que si dónde para vivía para, para, No, para pasarme dando una caja Me decían Ay, no Pero bueno, este Igual, como hey, les teacher, estaba diciendo eh, What ¿sí? happened about, uh -huh. What happened to be a, a dream To be a, a Top Gun A Top Gun Yeah What was that? Oh, no. Uh, and, well, you, and you will be to a, 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 yeah, a to, 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 to work yeah, at, at the airport. Um, yeah. So when, when I had the chance to go to the U.S., um, they turned me into a teacher. I was, I was a TA, oh. a teacher assistant, and I started to like it. I started to like how it felt, you know, to like be able to, to just say something to people and that they will appreciate it, that they will like it. And then they also showed me or taught me something about teaching. Algo que no, nunca nadie había, creo, pensado acá, al menos en la universidad donde yo estudié, que era el, la situación del aprendizaje eh, individualizado. O sea, el tratar de no hacer el aprendizaje general, de solo, o la enseñanza más bien general, ¿verdad? De solo enseñar lo que sé o solo enseñarlo así, por así sino que tratar de conectar con las diferentes gustos, diferentes áreas que pueden tener los estudiantes y acoplarse a ellos. Claro, en el, en el caso con ustedes es más difícil porque solo tenemos, ¿qué? Un mes, o sea, son 16 clases nada más, pero siempre trato, ¿verdad?, de hacerlo. Pero con, cuando son cursos más largos, como por ejemplo en la U, o sea, tratar de llegar a conocer el gusto de alguien, tratar de, de conocer algo acerca de esa persona, porque eso hace que ustedes se sientan parte de... Entonces, eh, genera, ¿verdad? Ese, ese como nivel de confianza. Al principio yo siempre tenía miedo, sobre todo en mi primer año trabajando en la U, porque la mayoría de los estudiantes que yo tenía eran mayores que mí. O sea, yo apenas tenía 22. Ajá, cuando empecé tenía 22. Y la mayoría eran de 24, o sea, eran de cuarto año, como les digo. Eran de 24, 26, unos que 30 años. Entonces yo tenía miedo que eso me iba a rebotar en la cara. O sea, que se iban a aprovechar y iban a decir, ah, este tipo, pues sí, ¿verdad? Solo a fregar vamos a ir. Pero pues no. Eh, desde el principio, ya cuando estaba allá en la U, me gustó. Y pues, lo que les iba a decir era que al final de cuentas, de hecho fue corporativo quien me salvó. Porque yo estaba ya a nada, ¿verdad? De, de, de dejar de enseñar. O sea, no quería por lo mismo de la pandemia. Porque hacía falta eso como... De, o sea, en las clases virtuales en la U, no podemos pedirle a los chicos que enciendan la cámara. Entonces yo, por ejemplo, digamos, hacía alguna broma y nadie, yo no sabía si se reían, yo no sabía si, si, qué hacían, ¿verdad? Y entonces yo me quedaba como, 
Este, bueno, sigo. O sea, y así. Eso estuvo a nada de hacerme que, que me rindiera, que ya no me gustara más. Porque pues otra cosa que yo siempre les digo, yo hago esto porque me gusta. Cuando ya no me guste, yo mejor me voy a bajar del bus. O sea, porque si no me voy a convertir en lo que juré destruir. Sí, o sea, en otro, otro profe aburrido. En I don't want to do that. Entonces, ajá. Pero bueno, también con lo de la aviación, hace poco intenté, hace poco iba a ser parte también supuestamente de, de Qatar Airways porque pues mi mejor amiga trabaja con ellos, pero por algún motivo I couldn't, sí, o sea, no pude, no me, no me aceptaron, pero pues al rato intentamos de nuevo, así que, ajá, si algún día it's viajan cuando vayan. It is not expensive, you know? I, know, I had that idea, yeah, I thought that too, but no, you don't have to spend anything, no. for no, really. example, uh, no, really. in her case, um, Yeah, she hasn't spent any money. She's just getting rich, but not spending. Not getting oh. rich, but yeah, she's she's um, having a good time, actually. A good time oh, to some okay. extent. Because it is rough, of course. It's a job, so it's mm -hmm. not every, not everything is going to be a walk through the park. But it's still, I uh, don't meaning a walk through the park. Una caminata por el parque. Aquí decimos, ¿qué? Color de rosa. Pero en inglés es walk through the park. O sea, cosas fáciles, oh. ¿verdad? Ya, yeah, but in, in her case, no ha tenido que gastar nada. O sea, el caso con estas compañías del Medio Oriente es que ellos prefieren que la gente que ellos contraten no tenga nada de experiencia, no, no, no tengan nada de academia, porque de esa forma se supone que ellos pueden educar mejor a la gente. O sea, ellos educan a la gente con sus gustos, bajo sus reglas. Entonces, yo por eso, muchos de hecho en la universidad, o más que todo las chicas, ¿verdad? Porque a chicos pocos les interesa, eh, pues les he dado la opción, les he comentado, ¿verdad? De que, o sea, la compañía de vez en cuando pues tiene sus, um, sus, sus, sus compañías aquí en El Salvador de entrevistas. Entonces, y pues tengo el ejemplo de mi mejor amiga, o sea, que pues está viviendo allá y, y trabaja con ellos y pues ya conoció, qué sé yo, como 70 países en como cuatro meses. Entonces es como que, wow. sí, ¿verdad? O sea, algo que es un sueño para muchas personas. Así que, ajá. La mujer de vez en cuando se hace sus escapadas a, a Turquía y así la dejan los aviones botada porque pues, ¿qué se espera? Mi mejor amiga ahora tiene que tener también algunas experiencias así medio complejas. Bueno, y de hecho es complejo porque ella incluso fue también parte del mismo proceso que yo en la universidad. O sea, también fue a Estados Unidos, pero nadie se acuerda de ella en la U. O sea, porque como ella era así bien calmada, like nobody remembers her. Pero bueno, este, así que al final de cuentas el punto es que que sí, o sea, si no fuese por estas clases, por, por, por corporativo, por todos ustedes que pues se desvelan, ¿verdad? Se esfuerzan por trabajar, yo tampoco estaría aquí. Así que, ajá, o sea, yo siempre, siempre me tomo un momento al final de cabal, por pasar copiando al principio de las clases, siempre. Yo sé, Sandra, que usted entra a darle copia temprano. Creo que Teacher, Sandra. Teacher, y usted tiene, tiene otro, otro empleo aparte a, a de acá el inglés corporativo. Sí, el de la universidad. O sea, trabajo ah. también dando clases en la U. Solo que como horas clase. Aparte de eso, bueno, hay gente que a veces, de hecho, el grupo de Patricia creo que fue cuando una vez les pregunté ¿Sí? que sí que había hecho. Ajá, sí, el grupo de Patricia una vez yo les dije, no a, todos, no a todos les pregunto las mismas cosas. Entonces hubo una vez que les pregunté que, que adivinaran qué había hecho yo durante mi día. O sea, como qué había hecho ese día, ¿verdad? Y la verdad que ni me acuerdo qué fue, pero o sea... Trabajo en un montón de cosas. O sea, he aprendido a ser electricista, hago cielo falso. Era lo que dijo ese día que había estado con un familiar que como que es ingeniero o algo así, no sé, de construcción, y que habían estado instalando unas cerámicas. Ah, un ok. Piso, Ajá. un piso cerámico. Ah, ok. Y que había ido al gym. Sí, no al gym, eso sí, casi siempre voy, pero, pero sí. Este, pero es eso, o sea, también trabajo en eso, cuando tengo chance o, uh, por ejemplo, en la U el horario es bien flexible para mí, así que muchas tardes, por ejemplo, yo cuando vengo a la casa, tengo un vecino que él trabaja de eso porque su familia también trabaja de eso, y él de hecho está en quinto año de inglés ahorita, pero pues nos gusta, así que trabajamos en eso, ¿verdad? Eh, de electricistas, hacemos los falsos, chill rock y muchas cosas, así que ajá, también tengo eso, ese otro trabajo, digamos. Que hay ratos en los que me divierte más que, que enseñar. Pero bueno. Eh, all right. Bueno, creo que para no seguir tanto, tanto, vamos a ver. ¿Qué preferían? Le estaba haciendo la oferta al principio. ¿Can I speak? Sure, sure, sure. Sí. Ok. Uh, I would like to read. Okay. Uh, I don't know. 
Okay. I want to <laughs> say that uh -huh. you know a lot of a lot of and have many cases. And if I have the opportunity opportunity uh -huh. to have a, you as a teacher again, I would like to practice uh -huh. reading more more because in the end you gave us the opportunity. Uh -huh. And thanks you for trusting. And Trusting us and be careful not to say bad words. For example, the, the last Friday in the first seven minutes and the, and the, the power went out, mm -hmm. you say one word bad. Oh, really? Yes. You can uh, watch the, the video. Uh -huh. Yes. <laughs> it's recorded. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'll be okay. careful with that then. <laughs> All right. Thank you. Thank you very much. Bueno, la verdad que ni me fijé. Como me molestó que se fue la luz. <laughs> Pero bueno, thank you. It's okay. All right, guys. Uh, bueno, entonces, what do you think? Do you think it's going to be reading for tonight or idioms? Reading for me. Reading? Okay. Reading for me. Then we're going to be reading. Reading and, uh, and idioms too. Yeah, if we have time. However, it's already 8.30, basically. So, uh, we'll see. Well, um, so I only have two readings for you. I only have the Grand Canyon and Thanksgiving. So, you yes. can pick from any of those. I decided to take out Halloween. Um, so, Thanksgiving, Thanksgiving or the Grand Canyon. All right. So, Sandra, go yes. with Thanksgiving then. Okay. Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving is a holiday celebrated by the Omnian predominantly in North America, and it possesses a different meaning in each of the countries where it's acknowledged. In the United States, Thanksgiving is a federal holiday, meaning all government employees and most private employees are given a day off of work and always take places on the fourth Thursday in November, regardless of the date. The holiday signifies the immense, immense? Immense? Is it correct to say immense? Yes, immense. The immense progress made by pilgrims or some of the first travelers to North America at, at Plymouth Plantation, circa 1621. It was at this time that the hungry and weary pilgrims were taught by Native Americans how to grow a product and produce food on North America's unit terrain. Once they grown and cut an, an, an abund, abundance, abundance, food, abundance. abundance, an abundance of food, the pilgrims were expectedly thankful and they celebrated alongside the Native Americans who provided them with such valuable assistance. President Abraham Lincoln initiated the contemporary practice of Thanksgiving by calling for a day of Thanksgiving during one of his Civil War addresses. Okay. A ver, perdón, solo voy a subir esto un poquito. Voy a ponerlo en pantalla completa para que se les haga más sencillo. Yes. Uh, yes. So let me see. Ahí creo que se ven todas las letras. A Sandra que quería que se le complicara, no se preocupe. Oh. <laughs> <Uy. laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, let me see. It's over here. Sí, creo que se ve located in Sun. A ver, es que saben que el grupo de la noche, el de más tarde, el de las nueve, siempre dice que tiene problemas cuando les pongo a leer, eh, que no alcanzan a ver las últimas líneas. Entonces, si en algún caso ustedes tampoco las pueden ver, ahí me dejan saber para, para ver cómo lo puedo mover a que lo vean mejor, ¿verdad? Pero bueno. Ok, uh, who else was willing to read and what do you guys want to read? The Grand Canyon or Thanksgiving? A ver, ¿quién más quiere hacer la práctica, Javier? For sure. Ok, uh, Thanksgiving o Grand Canyon, ¿cuál, cuál quisiera? Uh, Grand Canyon. Ok. There you let, me, let me go to the screen to see better. Ok. The Grand Canyon. The Grand... Oh, sorry, sorry. The Grand Canyon... One of the seven wonders of the natural world is located in the state of Arizona. 
It is also a UNESCO World Heritage Site, formed by over seven, 70 million years of erosion from the Colorado River. The Grand Canyon offers a spectacular view. The Grand Canyon spans 277 miles in length, up to 18 miles in width, and measures over a mile in depth at its deepest point. Carlos always wanted to visit the Grand Canyon, and recently he received the chance to hike some of the trails and take several panoramic photographs during his visit. When Carlos arrived at the visitor center, he watched a brief movie, a brief movie that taught tourists about the Grand Canyon National Park and the geolo geological history in the canyon's formation. Later, Carlos followed a hiking trail to become even further acquainted with the canyon. While walking, while walking through the trail, Carlos saw some tourists riding donkeys to traverse the canyon's ridges throughout his, his hiking expedition. Carlos used a map to find some of the best hot spots from photographs within the canyon. He visited some areas at different points in the day because sun angles and lights and lighting can make a big difference in the quality of a photo. All right, very, very good. All right, so I just wanted to mention, for example, here we have hot spots. Yeah, you see this this um, phrase here, if you want to call it that? So hot spots. What do you hot guys spot. understand by hot spots? ¿Qué entienden qué significan los hot spots? ¿Qué podrían ser los hot spots? Como los lugares puntos, comunes o populares. Más. Okay, más o menos. Uh, Javier. Eh, como hotspot, como los mejores lugares o el punto. Ajá. Son como los puntos relevantes. Sí, hotspots. Mm -hmm. Puntos relevantes o bien como mencionó Ruth, lugares, o sea, los lugares comunes, los lugares más usuales <risa> o quizás eh, donde se pueden tomar las mejores fotos. Sí. So, hotspots. Los más spots, visitados. Ajá, como los más visitados, exactly. Si lo traducimos literal, obviamente significa puntos calientes, pero se, se, ref, o sea, ajá, ¿verdad? se refiere a específicamente like the best spots. ¿sí? En lugar de decir best spots, we can say hot spots. Uh, you can use hot spots in almost everything. Like if you know a very good place where they say they sell amazing pupusas, you can tell someone, yeah, I know a hot spot for pupusas. Sí, o sea, conozco un lugar increíble, un lugar genial. Para pupusas, o sea, para, para comprar pupusas, ¿verdad? Donde venden pupusas. Así que hotspot eh, se puede referir casi a cualquier lugar que ustedes consideren que es único, que es relevante, Uy. importante. Entonces, yeah, hotspot. All right. Uh, who else is going to be doing the reading and what reading do you want? Me, teacher. Okay. Do you want to read uh, the Thanksgiving one or the Grand Canyon one? Uh... The Grand Canyon. All right, so we're going to keep it here. Grand Canyon, one of the seven wonders of the natural world, is located in the state of Arizona. It is also a UNESCO World Heritage Site, formed by over 70 years of erosion from the Colorado River. The Grand Canyon offers a spectacular view. The canyon spans 2,077 miles in length. In length? Length, up, yes. Oh, sorry. <laughs> sorry. Up to the 18 miles in white. In white width? And in width. Mm -hmm. And uh, it measures over a mile in deep. Depth. And it's... Depth. Depth it mm -hmm. at its depends point. Mm -hmm. Carlos always wants to visit the Grand Canyon, and re recently he received the chance to hike some of the trails and take several panoramic photograph photographs during his visit. 
When Carlos arrived at the visitor center, he watched a brief movie that taught tourists about the Grand Canyon Natural National Park and the geological history of the canyon's formation. Later, Carlos followed a hiking trail to become even further acquainted uh, with the canyon. While walking through uh, the trails, Carlos saw some tourists riding donkeys to traverse uh, the canyon righteous. Throughout his hiking expedition, Carlos used the ma a map to find some of the best hotspots for photographs within the, the canyon. He received some areas at different points in the days because some angles and lighting uh, can make a big difference in the quality of a photo. All right, very good. Only one, one tiny word. Hasta el final nos venimos a saltar una. Esta, revisit it. <laughs> sí, he revisited. Oh, yeah, yeah. Sí, que es revisitó y dijimos receive, pero igual, revisit it. Sí. <clears throat> pero muy bien, muy buen trabajo. Ahora, estas palabras, estas tres son bien complejas. No, no voy a, a decirles, o sea, culparles por nada, ¿verdad? Con estas tres. La de largo, ancho y hondo, sí. Length, width, y depth, sí, length, width, and depth. Ok, uh, who else would like to do the reading? ¿Quién, quién más está dispuesto? ¿O está... No, All right. No, uh, let me no, see. No, Go ahead. It is Walter, right? So, do you want to do yeah. Thanksgiving or... Um, or... The Grand Canyon. The Grand Canyon, ok, the Grand Canyon. Then yeah. we have Amilcar, ¿verdad? Creo que Amilcar estaba también con deseo, so we're going to have Amilcar next. Ok, okay. Walter. Okay, the Grand Canyon, one of the seven wonders of the nature world. It is located in the state of Arizona. It is also a UNESCO World Heritage Site, formed by over 70 million years of erosion from the Colorado River. The Grand Canyon offers a spectacular view. The canyon spans to 277 miles in length, up to 18 miles in width. And it is many shores over a mile in depth at its deepest point. Carlos always wanted to visit the Grand Canyon and recently he received the chance to hike some of the trails and take several panoramic photographs during his visit. When Carlos arrived uh, at, the visitor, at the visitor center, he watched a brief movie that taught tourists about the Grand Canyon National Park and the geological history of the canyon formation. Later, Carlos followed a hiking trail to become even further acquainted with the canyon. While walking through the trail, Carlos saw, saw some tourists riding donkeys to traverse, traverse the canyon ride. Throughout his hiking expedition, Carlos used a map to find some of the best hot spots for photograph within the canyon. Here is revisit, revisit, I don't know how to say. Revisit it, Re revisit it. Revisit it, some areas at the different points in the day because some angles and lighting can make a big difference in the quality of a photo. Okay, very good. Ahora, aquí encontré una palabra, miren, que he hecho puede jugar con dos sentidos, ¿sí? Esta, brief. ¿Ustedes yeah. saben a qué se refiere brief? Brief. ¿Any idea of what brief means? Breve. Like a breve. Uh -huh. Breve. Pero, en este caso, vaya, por ejemplo, when Carlos arrived to the visitor center, he watched a brief movie that taught. Esta palabra de acá nos hace que esta pueda tener dos sentidos, ¿sí? Eh, porque también brief o uh, briefing, more specifically, tampoco les voy a decir que necesariamente va a ser exactamente así, ¿verdad? Pero, por ejemplo, si al principio de la clase yo les explico lo que vamos a hacer, I am briefing you, that is a brief, ¿sí? Estoy básicamente dando instrucciones o resumiendo de lo que se va a tratar. 
Entonces, okay. if you brief a brief movie, sí, se puede entender como una película de instrucciones, sí, o sea, como una película educativa. Conste, aquí se refiere a una breve película, o sea, una película corta, una película corta. Pero, o sea, mientras lo, lo iba leyendo, me acordé, o sea, pensé de verdad en eso, eso es, podría ser un juego de palabras eh, con esta palabra específicamente por el significado que puede tener. If I brief you, sí. Y es, la cosa que me estaba acordando cuando dijo aquí lo del Visitor Center, when I got to the Visitor Center, to the, uh, to the Grand Canyon, I remember that there was someone who was briefing us, who was explaining us, giving us instructions that, for example, we were not uh, able to go down to the canyon because we didn't pay as much. We had to pay more if we wanted to go down to the canyon. We didn't have, of course, permission to throw any garbage. We didn't have permission to yell in the canyon because yelling mm -hmm. was prohibited. Um, we were supposed to walk on a, on a glass platform because there was like a glass platform for you to see all that, like how deep it goes. Um, and they told us like no jumping, no running, um, no spitting either because you're not all either allowed to spit into the canyon. So that was a briefing. O sea, esa fue como una, una instrucciones. Así que por eso fue que pensé, ¿verdad? A brief movie podría ser también como básicamente eso, una, una película en la cual se explica, en lugar de tener a alguien que todo el tiempo está explicando las cosas, mejor le, le pongo este videíto, ¿verdad? Entonces, por esta palabra, por eso les digo, por esta palabra principalmente, que, que significa, ¿verdad?, que les enseña o que les enseñó. Aquí principalmente lo vamos a entender como que les enseña, ¿sí? Que les enseña a los turistas acerca del de Parque Nacional Grand Canyon. Pero bueno, solo ahí, o sea, fue que me llamó la atención y me recordé de eso. Eh... Ahora, con las palabras que les acabo de decir. Speeding. You guys know what is speeding? Speeding. ¿Sabemos qué es speeding? ¿Daniel? No. No? Speeding. Yes. Let me send it on the chat. Speeding. Ok. Speeding. O simplemente derramar, también. derramado, ¿no? No, eso sería spill. No es escupir. 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 Ah, es escupir. Sí. escupir. Salpicar. Exactamente, escupir, sí. Entonces, yeah. no es spitting. Ahora, yelling. La palabra yelling, do you guys know what yelling is? O shouting. Listo. Gritar. Gritar. Ah, ok, muy bien. Yelling. Entonces, no yelling or no shouting. Shouting, 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 shouting. Esas son dos, son tres cosas, bueno, dos, básicamente, porque esas solo son sinónimos, ¿verdad? Shell, yelling y shouting, que están prohibidas en el Gran Cañón. La de escupir, la de escupir. Oh. Spitting, yelling, and shouting, shouting. Ahora, la de spitting es, es, like, very understandable because there are almost always people at the bottom of the canyon who are taking, like, their hiking um, routes, But the one that I didn't quite get was the yelling one. Probably, I think it was probably because of the birds that inhabit the canyon and you don't want to like be disturbing those birds all of a sudden. But yeah, there is supposed to be no spitting and no yelling into the canyon. Bueno, igual, ¿verdad? Porque lo de escupir, no sé, creo que es una cosa bien tonta que tenemos muchos que cuando, o sea, que cuando estamos en cosas altas, ¿verdad? Tenemos esa necesidad, no sé ni por qué, sí. de ver la saliva caer. Entonces, ya, yeah, no es como que la va a ver llegar al suelo. Sí, cabal, y más ahí que <risa> supuestamente son, supuestamente es como cinco veces, bueno, no yo estuve al menos, cinco veces la altura de la Torre Eiffel. Nunca he ido a la Torre Eiffel, pero se supone que es muy alta. Entonces, cinco veces eso, like, ni que fuese águila, ¿verdad? Para poder ver caer la salida. Pero bueno, ok. Amilcar, uh, which one do you want to read? Do you want to read Thanksgiving or do you want to read The Grand Canyon? The Grand Canyon. Ok, go ahead then. Ok. The Grand Canyon, one of the seven wonders of the natural world, is located in the state of Arizona. It is also a UNESCO World Heritage Site, formed by over... 70 million years of erosion from the Colorado River. The Grand Canyon offers a spectacular view. The canyon spans to 277 miles in length, up to 18 miles in width, 
and it measures over a mile in depth and its deepest point. Carlos always wanted to visit the Grand Canyon and recently he received the chain to hike some of the trails and take several panoramic photographs during his visit. When Carlos arrived uh, at the visitor center, he, he watched a brief movie that taught stories about the Grand Canyon National Park and the geological history of the Grand Canyon Formation. Later, Carlos followed a hiking trail to become a even further acquainted with the, with the canyon. While walking uh, through the trails, Carlos saw some tourists riding donkeys to travel the, the canyon bridges. Throughout his hiking expedition, Carlos used a mouth to find some of the best hot spots for photograph within the, the canyon. He visited some areas at different points in the day because sun angles and lighting can make a big difference in the quality of a photo. All right. Okay. Very, very good. Thank you very much. So the only one I, I noticed was this one, writing. See, I could he was reading, but it was writing. But okay. for the, yeah, the spelling of the word can make us get confused. So very good. Writing. Amazing hey. work. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Me? Yes, Daniel. Hey. It was uh, the Grand Canyon. Okay, great. The Grand Canyon, one of the seven wonders of the natural world, is located in the state of Arizona. It is also a UNESCO World Heritage Site, formed by over 70, mi 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 70 million years of erosion from the Colorado River. The Grand Canyon offers a spectacular view. The canyon spans 270 miles in length, to up to 80 miles in width, and it measures over a mile in depth. At its deepest, deepest point, uh -huh. Carlos always wanted to visit, of the, to visit the Grand Canyon, and recently he received the chance to hike some of the trails and take several panel photographs during his. When Carlos arrived at the visitor center, center he watched. He watched a uh, brief movie that told stories about the Grand Canyon National Park and the geological history of the canyon formation. Later, Carlos followed a hiking, hiking trial, trial to become even further. Esta palabra, si no sé, acquainted. 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 Mm -hmm. Acquainted with the canyon. While walking to the trails, Carlos saw some tourists reading donkeys to traverse the canyon rise. Throughout his hiking expedition, Carlos used a map to find some of the best hot, hot spots for the photograph within the canyon. He revisited, we visited, revisited, revisited. He revisited some areas at different points in the day because some angles and lighting can make a big difference in the quality of a photo. Nice. Very good job. Very, very nice. Good pace, by the way. You read very, very yes. fast, which is very, very good for you. Now, of course, um, we on, we, I, I, will, I was able to identify two uh, things that we could have done a little bit better. Once again, writing, see, sí, writing, and ridges. Right. O sea, esta porque, ridges. sí, verdad, ajá, es una palabra nueva. Ahora, lo de acquainted, les decía el otro día, acquainted, when you're acquainted with something, it means that you're familiarized, like you're knowledgeable. Yeah, yeah like you know yeah. about that. So yeah, that will, sorry, that will be um, acquainted. Okay, anyone else? Any any other? Uh... Me, teacher. Okay, Joaquin, do you want to do this one or Thanksgiving? Um, Grand Canyon. Okay. The Grand Canyon. The Grand Canyon, one of the seven wonders of natural world, is located in the state of Arizona. It is also an UNESCO World Heritage Site, formed by over 17 million years of erosion from the Colorado rivers. 
The Grand Canyon offers a spectacular views. The canyon spans 277 miles on length, up to miles in width, and it measured over a mile and depth at its deepest point. Carlos always wanted uh, to visit the Grand Canyon, and recently mm. he received uh, the change to hike on the trail and take several panoramic photographs during the, his visit. When Carlos arrived at the visitor center, he watched a brief movie uh, that thought tourists about the Grand Canyon National Park and the geological is history of the canyon's formations. Later, Carlos followed a hiking trail to become ever further acquainted uh, with the canyons uh, while walking through the trails. Carlos saw some tourists riding donkeys to traverse the canyon's rights. Through Throughout his hiking expedition, Carlos used a map to find some of the best hot spots for photograph for a photograph within the canyons. He revisited some areas at different points at the day at the day because sun angles and lighting can make a big difference in a quantity at a four. Okay, nice. Very good. Okay, okay. Doki, then. Nice, nice job. Um, I was just trying to find something. Trail. Let me see. Draw, be drawn. No. Yeah, so trail. You were okay with that. Es que solamente es que me quedo con, con esa palabra de trail que estaba queriendo buscarle otro significado. Pero en la siguiente persona, vamos a ver. Uh, who's next? Who would like to do the reading uh, next? I try to read the Halloween. Uh, I don't have Halloween. I have uh, this one. Only. Uh, no, the, the, uh, the Thanksgiving. No, Halloween. Yes. Yeah, Thanksgiving. This one, Thanksgiving. Okay. 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 Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving is a holiday celebrated. Predonam. I don't know. Predominantly. Predominantly. Predominantly in North America, and it poses a different meaning in each of the countries where it's acknowledged. In the United States, Thanksgiving, Thanksgiving is a federal holiday, meaning all government employees and most private employees are given a day of, of work and always take place on the fourth, fourth Thursday in November. Regardless of the date, the holiday signify, um, signify the uh -huh. immense, the immense progress may be pilgrims, pilgrims, or some of the first travels to North America at Primo, Primo, Planations, is circa in 1621. It was at the time that the hungry and weary where pilgrims were told by Native, Native Americans how to grow and produce food on North American unique terrain. 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 Mm -hmm. Once they, they grow and cough, cough mm -hmm. an abundance of food, the pilgrims were respectfully thankful and they celebrate alongside the Native American who provide them with such value, value, valuable, know, valuable. Val, valuable assistance. President Abraham, Abraham Lincoln in, 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 initiated, initiated. initiated the no, contemporary um, pra practice of Thanksgiving by calling for a day of Thanksgiving during one of the Civil War adverts. 
Addresses. Okay. Addresses. Nice. Very good. Y saben que sí, al final, bueno, aquí, perdón, estaba también leyendo esto del trail. Y sí, o sea, se, se, se probó mi teoría. La cosa es que estaba pensando mientras veía esa verdad, la, la, el otro significado que puede tener la palabra del trail. ¿sí? Trail and error, no sé si alguna vez han escuchado eso, el intento y error. So when we talk about, oh, sorry, trail and error, o, eh, utilizamos específicamente esa palabra, trail. Eh, y el motivo por el cual en este contexto se utiliza la palabra trail es porque pues un trail es como una vereda, ¿verdad? O sea, un camino que Sendero. alguien... Ajá, sendero. un sendero, o entonces eso es un camino que alguien se inventó, o sea, que alguien simplemente intentó pasar por allí, entonces de ahí es donde proviene el hecho de que estos se llamen trails, sí, porque no necesariamente son calles establecidas, o sea, como pavimentadas o necesariamente, ¿verdad?, como... asfaltadas, so that's why we call them trails, es porque una, alguien intentó una, pasar, yes. Con una forma improvisada. Ajá, entonces por eso mismo se llaman trails, porque, o sea, alguien intentó hacerlo, lo logró, so now people use it as well. O sea, es que la cosa es que me quedé con eso, Y las sí. demás hormiguitas pasaron por ahí. Ajá, o sea, una hormiguita pasó y como logró regresar, <ríe> las demás hormiguitas siguieron ese camino, ¿verdad? Tipo, yes, we set a trail. O sea, la palabra trail se puede utilizar en varias cosas. Se puede utilizar, como bien mencionaron ustedes, como un sendero, una vereda, uh, y también se puede utilizar en pintura, en cuestiones de pintura como un trazo, ¿sí? O sea, cuando ustedes inician, ¿verdad? A hacer como la, como el boceto de la, de la pintura, that would be a trail, ¿sí? So I'm just trailing this painting, you could say, si ustedes fuesen pintores, o si lo son, no sé. Entonces, eh, you guys can say that, you know, you're trailing something. Ahora, eh, in this case here for um, Jancy, so we did very good. Uh, only some of these words are a little bit tricky y es entendible porque hay algunas de esas palabras que son complicadas como por ejemplo el caso de initiated, ¿verdad? Initiated o la de predominantly sí, yo sé que esa es otra que es un poco compleja predominantly, predominantly. Uh, acknowledge, mm -hmm. in my case uh, I remember this one was a Yes. Yeah, I remember this one was a really really complicated word for me acknowledged um, yes, yes. Dice que Then we also have, for ignoró. example, oh, wait, uh, we also have valuable. So those will be like some of the tricky words here in this reading. Oh. But still, you did good. Very, very good. Okay. Uh, I think we still have time for one more person. So who else would like to do it? Who would like to do the, the last um, reading in this course? Media vez dice que es el último y nadie quiere. Uh, I think we're going to give this chance to Jacqueline. Sí, parece que Jacqueline está emocionada. Jacqueline quiere leer, dice. <laughs> sí. Sí, se me nota. Sí. Okay, so, uh, Jacqueline, which one do you want to read? Thanksgiving or uh, Grand Canyon? Thanksgiving, teacher. Okay. Uh, Thanksgiving is a holiday celebrated predominantly in North America. And it and it possesses a different meaning in each of the countries where it's a knowledge. In the United States, Thanksgiving is a federal holiday, meaning our government employees and most private, private employees are given a day off of work and always take place on the fourth Thursday in November, regardless of the day. The holiday signifies the immense progress made, with, made by pilgrims or some of the first travel, travelers to North America. And Palmon Plantation Circa, mm -hmm. 1621, it was a time that the hungry and weary pilgrims were taught by Native Americans how to grow and produce food on North America's unique terrain. Once they grown and cold and evidence of food, the pilgrims were extremely thankful and they celebrate alongside the Native Americans who provide them with switch Balu assistance. President Abraham Lincoln initiated the contemporary practice of thanksgiving by calling for a day a day of thanksgiving during of the whole civil war addresses 
All right. Very, very good. Great, great work. Thank you very much. Okay. So the only word was this one, abundance. Sí. O sea, igual. Yes. Yes. You did great, though. You did great. Okay, guys. So that's it. Yeah. That was it. Ya se acabó. Qué rápido. Sentí como que solo fueron dos semanas. Pero bueno. Yes. Um, yes. Thank you once again for your time. Thank you for your high <laughs> appreciated um, participation during this course. I hope you do amazing. You guys have done a great, great work. All of you are doing amazing on the terms you know of learning and speaking English. So keep it up that way. Keep on practicing. Keep on learning. And you're going to get this country real far. So thank you very much. Have a really good night. Have a good Thank life. You. Bye. Thank you. Thank you. Bye, everybody. Bye, guys. Bye. Bye.